Resmondo and Suncoast Reebok here. As we begin things from Osceola County Stadium, the 2011 Hall of Fame Classic. And the first pitch is going to be lined into left field for a leadoff base hit. Dieter not have thought about going to second, but held at first. So here's Greg Canal. And Cannell lines this one, and that one's going to be off the wall. Cannell on his way to second. DiDonatus comes in to score the first run of the ball game. As Cannell has a triple to pick up an RBI. So it's one to nothing as BJ Falk checks into the box. Back up the middle, what a grab to knock it down, but the second run of the ball game is gonna come to score. Here's Bryson Baker. Jamie, watch it. Jamie. Off the wall. And we got runners on second and third. Back up the middle, two more will come in to score. Folk scores. Baker comes in to score. And it's four to nothing, Rosmondo. Four to nothing as Wallace is at the plate. And Wallace hits this one towards the gap.
Runners will move to the corners as there's Andy Purcell. And now Brian Rainwater to the plate with runners on the corners. And a right field down the line. That's going to score a couple of runs. Andy Purcell comes in to score as they field it. Mondo's brought in five runs, and they've yet to record it out. <laughs> so Scott Strebel will hit. And Strebel will draw a walk. So that loads the bases with Strebel at first. And now Howie Krause at the plate with the bases loaded. Back up the middle, base hit, two more will score, and it's seven to nothing. Looks like we got a new pitcher. Thank you. 
<laughs> it's eight to nothing. Rosmato continues to score runs and they've yet to record an out here against Suncoast Reebok. That one's gonna fall as well. Mike Rines. Three straight hits for Rines. The bases are now loaded for the top of the order and top the outs. Suncoast Reebok out of Parrish, Florida, men's A. This is their first tournament in 2011. And we're back to the top of the lineup and Didonatis batting for the second time. A hit and a run in this ball game. Got a chance to pick up his first RBI. Coming in, they'll make the grab. Didonatis will pick up an RBI and a sack fly. And it's nine to nothing with one out. Great Canal. They'll say it's just foul. Fans reminder, we'll be back here bright and early. We got our alarm clock set for early in the morning. Crew will be out here getting set. We will be back at 9.30 a.m. Scannell grounds into a six, four, but they can't get the three double play. So there's two away. And there's runners on the corners. Here's BJ Falk. strike high pop fly the ballpark will hold it but a big first inning Resmondo scores nine runs on ten hits they leave two stranded just a half inning in the books and it's already nine to nothing Oh, big dog! 
One pitch, one out. Lassen White, who's the new pitcher uh, flying out. Ryan Robbins at the plate. Come on, Rhino. Brandon Cashwell asking for the final for the Gene Shop game. Down to earth, a winner in that one, 35-31. Robbins with a first hit of this ball game for Suncoast Reebok. So Robbins is at second. On the ground, great glove by Didonatus. Fires across the diamond for out number one. Take another look. So two outs, Dan Bean has a base hit. Robbins will come in to score. Nine to one. Dustin Roberts got under that one, flew it to the outfield, and the inning over. Resmondo plus eight after one here in the Hall of Fame Classic in 2011. <laughs> Bryson Baker leads things off in the second with Rismondo up eight and nearly nine. Whoa, that one almost went through a window. Good news is the Astros have moved out of town, the spring training home here of the Houston Astros.
on the ground into right field. Here's a base hit. And here is Andy Purcell. Purcell, an eight time All World selection. Purcell to left field. His bat remains cold. He's reached once as he flew out to Roberts. That brings up Jeff Wallace. Justice retires Wallace. Justice with a pick up and throw to get Wallace at first base. Take her over to second. There's now two away for left goes Ryan Rainwater. There's two away. Rainwater draws the walk. Here's Scott Strebel with two away. Called strike. Strebel popped up foul territory, quick inning. Rismondo retired in order after scoring nine runs in the top of the second. Excuse me, the top of the first, they're blanked in the top of the second. Come on, let's go. Get right back in it. Come on. Come on, right back in it.
Adam Rockoff leads things off here in the bottom of the second. And Rockoff goes yard. That brings up Hank Harris. Inducted last year into the USSA Hall of Fame. One of the good guys of the sport. Chopped on the ground. Baker to first. That's out number one. the ground a third across the diamond oh it got away Good hustle, Jamie. and we'll have a runner on first with one away howie kraus couldn't dig it out you can see the clay kicking up here It's been a windy night. Beautiful night for softball. It's a runner on first. That one hit back up the middle. That'll go for a base hit. So runners on first and second. Here's Lee Trotter. Takes a called strike. Side. It's 2 and 0. On the ground, what a grab. Over to second. And that is a 5 4 3 inning ending double play. Tremendous defense by Rosmondo in that half inning. Holding Suncoast to just a run. It's 9 to 2 after 2. Leon Ali Kraus, 
from the five-time All-World selection. We are man on the cross. And that brings up this. Drives the ball to the wall, cars over the third, and that brings up Mike Lines. Come on, boys, come on. Runners on second and third here to begin the third. And a line drive by Mike Rines is going to become an RBI single. And Resmato is the first to double digits. They have 10. It's 10 to 2. Good job, good job, Gary. Leonidas, an eight-time all-world performer. So runners on the corner. Don Didonatus the third at the plate. On the ground, short to second. That's the first out, but it scores a run. It's 11 to two. Appears elsewhere it's the scene HAS over RM Metals 24 to 9. Dark side on top of EWS 21 to 11. Gold's Gym. On top of transit, 12 to two. Canal has an RBI opportunity, go ride, just getting a base hit there. Puts runners on the corners. It's an eight run ball game. We got one more for you tonight. It'll be team combat taking on either Dave's place or Torino. BJ Falk draws the walk. So the bases are loaded with one out. Here's Bryson Baker. He got under that one. Justice records out number two. Justice goes into foul territory to retire the fly ball of Baker. Now two away for pitcher Andy Purcell. Two away and Andy Purcell. He's down 40 pounds on the P90X plan. 
It's pitched extremely well, but struggled with the bat. That one is foul. Our score's 11 to two here in the top of the third with the bases loaded. And Purcell goes the opposite way. Has a base hit. He'll pick up two more. And that'll make it 13 to two. As we take another look back at that nice swing a moment ago by Andy Purcell. It's taken what he had and took it the opposite way. Picks up two RBIs the easy way. So it's 13 to two our score. And Jeff Wallace, who's one for two at the plate. Wallace Oof. on top of the building, but foul. That ball was hit a ton. Bo Stanley commenting, we're going to have Dave's place and team combat coming up next. That's in our finale. Right now we're about 15 minutes off of schedules. That one's going to be hit to third. Justice across to second. And the side retired Rosmato scores four in the third. And they're up by nine. 13 to two is our score. Hot shot to third. And Mike Ryans across the diamond for out number one here in the bottom of the third oh, inning. The third, Rainier. Luis Rania retired. He was the final hitter in the Suncoast Reebok lineup. Now we're back to the top. And Lucen White, who's 0 for 1. White down the right field line. Long run for Falk. A nice job, I think, of tracking that one down before it went to the wall. 
fired her right through the infield, but nice back up there by Mike Rhines. So White dirties himself up, and Psycho Rhino Roberts at the plate. Roberts got under that one. Into the corner. Out number two. So runner on third. Suncoast has scored one run in the first three innings of this game. As Brian Justice comes to the plate, looks at ball one. Under that one, inning over. First time today, Suncoast Reebok is blanked. It's a 13 2 game as we head to the fourth. And we begin the fourth. Fair ball down the line. Look at that. A little rattle around to the corner. Brian Rainwater aboard. Rainwater drives the ball to right field. He goes the ball line. And that brings up center fielder Scott Striebel. And so that brings up Scott Striebel. Striebel got it through the strong side of the infield. Picking up an RBI. Striebel drives in the right corner. He beats the shift on the right side. And that brings up number 16, Howie Trout. B.J. Falk. <laughs> B. 
DJ Falk the opposite way of the first two hits into the corner. It'll go for a double. So Strievel gets a double, and here's Howie Krause. Krause takes the first pitch. Off the pitcher. It'll be an RBI single. That brings up Mike Rines. Rines got under that one. Roberts, though, backpedaling, and the ballpark holds it. Runners will tag and move up. So we're back to the top of the lineup. Dondi Donatis, the third. He's one for two. Scored two runs, and he also has two runs batted in. Going oh, way outside. And Dinanatis will draw a walk. It's been one of his specialties. A tremendous eye at the plate, and he gets aboard. And the bases are loaded. That brings up Greg Cannell. First pitch, ball one. Canel back up the middle for a base hit. Question how many runs will this score? And it'll score two. Well, not two. The second. And that brings up DJ Paul. Good piece of hitting. Come on, we got one. Hey, work. 17 to 2, our score. Yes, BJ Folk comes to the plate. Folk gets a high one and clobbers that one off the wall. Falk is going to hold at second with a double as Didonatis comes in to score. Good piece of hitting. That one high and in the zone. Eighteen to two, Rismondo in the lead. Combat laser vision coming up next. Bryce and Baker into the corner. That one's foul. Here we go. 
Just some great hitting by Rosmato. That one finds the gap. It scores two more. And just like that, it's 20 to two. Baker with a gap up. And that one falls score on the triple. And that brings up pitcher Andy Purcell. Purcell, the other half of the co-MVP of the 2000. Take another look at that great hitting a moment ago. So it's 20 to two. Jamie Nelson, Nelson the new pitcher. And Nelson's gonna come on to pitch. Wallace at the plate, 19 runs, the advantage. On the ground, whoa, what a glove by Rainia, but the throw to second. It's not in time. Just one out and eight runs already in. Runners on first, second. And not anymore. It's a base clearing three run home run. And that one went all the way out to see Albert the Alligator. That one's in the pond. 24 to 2, Rosmondo advantage. And that brings up Scott Strebel. It's 24 to 2. Part of an 11 run fourth inning. Into center. Base hit. Jeremy Eisenhower now with the runner on second. Trying to add to the damage. 
He was played well. The left fielder was essentially almost into center. That one sliced almost as bad as Matt O'Hara at the tee box. Here's Vince Bisbee. Takes a called strike. Bisbee, great backhand by Rania. Across the diamond at first in time, and the side retired. Tremendous defense on hand at the Hall of Fame Classic. The glove and the arm. It's 24-2, Rismondo up. We all have board. And he's in order to single the left. And that brings up the Well, we've begun the bottom of the fourth. 24 to 2. It's the first of a four day adventure that we embark upon tonight. And we hope you join us and plan to join us the rest of the way. Tomorrow morning. First thing you should do, you get in the office, you get your coffee. You might have a chance to read a couple of emails. But by 9.30, we'll be on the air with our first game, and we hope that you can tell a friend and maybe keep you and your coworkers entertained all day long. We'll try to keep the stream on all day long, but we do plan on doing a full version, quote unquote, like we are now of winner's bracket action and select loser's bracket games. Will we have a full broadcast like this from 9.30 a.m. to midnight tomorrow night? I'm sorry, but we will not. But we'll do the best job we can to bring you as many games as we possibly can. And of course, all the winner's bracket action we'll have for you. Got one more game tonight. Pierce Dave's place is gonna take on Combat laser vision. You can follow the Hall of Fame Classic by going to the App Store. Download the UAAA app. A couple other scores we see Gold's Gym had a transit 20 to 7. Dark Side's leading shop three to nothing right now. Got under that one. 
And some nice range there. Don Donato showcasing his defensive abilities. Two away. If you're just joining us and expecting to watch the combat laser vision game, we've run a little bit behind today. It's a first here for a slow pitch event. Base is loaded. Nelson draws the walk. The load the base is now to number 10, Marty Malloy. And the base is loaded for Malloy here. Two away. Back up the middle, pass to diving Andy Purcell. A run will score, and the hold with the bases loaded. Let's take a look back at the third run of the ball game. That's certainly a good effort there by Andy Purcell. But the bases remain loaded, 24 to three. Popped up. Didonatus has it. And Resmondo. Will advance in the winner's bracket. It's a final 24 to 3. Stay with us. Our coverage of the Hall of Fame Classic will continue after this.